What's going on, Katrina? Hello, how are you? I am well. How old are you? 40. Okay, what did I get wrong? What did I get wrong? You didn't... What? <laughs> you didn't get anything wrong. You didn't get nothing wrong. My question is, I think I'm not your average listener. A lot of times, people, things you talk about don't per se apply to me. And my question is, this is like, okay, I'm 40. I have three kids. I've done a stay-at-home mom thing. I'm divorced. I've been divorced for 12 years. So, and I don't need a high value man. I'm at the point now where I, I want companionship. Um, I want, I do want a Christian man. I am a Christian woman. I do know that. What's the, no what's the question? Gonna, what's the question? My question is like, how should I put this? Um, just everyone that I hear you speak of, you have a very just give me your question. Just give me your question. Just give me your question. So what do you do? Okay, so what if what if you're a woman who is uh, old, like my, I'm 40. Um, I don't want to have any more kids. Um, I'm done having children. Um, I don't need to have a high value man. I just want a, a good man. I want companionship. Okay. I want a, a man that is a Christian. And with that being said, how is that hard for me to find I know I'm in that danger zone away. All right, you, so man, all right, all right, let me stop you right here. I've asked you like five times. Basically what you're saying is, how does a woman at my age find a, a, just, a, just a man for companionship for the rest of my life? Yeah, it's a good person, yeah. All right. It's a good Christian. Well, the first thing, well, the first thing, you gotta, you gotta be willing to say it. I knew that's what you were calling to ask for. A sentence into it, but you ladies don't want to just admit you want to go all the way around the world. And men don't want to hear all that. First and, for, first and foremost, why do you want a quote unquote good man? Because are, are your kids out of the house? Oh, no, they're older. I have, they're in high school. Well, how so old is the youngest? There. My youngest one is 12. I'm sorry. She's, she, well, she's in middle school. She's 12. Well, so, so the kind of man you're looking for, um, you're looking for somebody just to 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 round to, to go to, to 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 get to make it the home plate with. Yeah, you're round I, I in third base, and that. you just want to get you want to spend the, you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody, kind of like my mother did. Yep. All right. Yep. Well, here's the thing. Um, how long were you married? I was married for eight years, five years. Five years, and that was twelve years ago. Yes. So we have known oh, for twenty. You're you forty. 12 years yeah. ago, you divorced. And before that, you were married for five years. 17, 23. So you got married early on. Yes, sir. What kind of inner, what kind of history do you have in the last 12 years of actively cooperating with a man? That has, that, that's definitely my issue. Well, um, there's your problem. It's, my, it's not a problem with men, man. It's a problem is you in the mirror because there are plenty of men out there. But let me see if I can fill in the rest of your story. You spent the last you spent the last twelve years focusing on your job, your kids, your career, yourself, doing all sorts of kind of stuff. Now you look up and you're forty years old and you're about to be an empty nester. Now you want to just plug in a relationship. Guess what? Men are not freaking Lego Pretty bricks. Much, Men aren't Lego brick. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you fit anybody's? Do you, okay. Here's a question. Do you fit anybody's situation? What do I need from a, What do I need from a forty year old? Okay, here's a hard question. Ready? You ready? Yes, sir. Hold on. Hold on. Ready? What do what does an Aaron or a Greg need from a woman who has no history of working with an Aaron or a Greg? I'm gonna have to ask you what exactly is an Aaron? Our average everyday regular dude. You got no history of. You got a history of working with one man 17 years ago. Yeah. I agree. That is, that is the problem. Yes. And the question is, why'd you, why'd you cut off? All? And see, what I need to hear from sisters like you is to tell young women, don't do this. Stop cutting men off. Stop thinking you can just shut men out and life down and restart this engine at 40 years old. It don't work that way. Well, tell me. I mean, I just tell them. I, well, my that's not the way. That's not the way to work. 
I agree. It does catch up with you. But at my point, my kids, when I first got divorced, my kids were really young. And I was just focused on raising them. I was struggling trying to just be a single mom with three kids, manage my home and my job, and just well, well, up, but see, okay. So here's the question. Gonna, here's the question is gonna come up. Here's the question is gonna come up. Why did you and your husband split? That's the question is gonna come up. You know what? Young and I was young and immature. I looked, that I that didn't answer my question. Why did you? Why did you? So you filed for divorce from your husband? I did. Why? <laughs> There's a question that's going to come up, ma'am. Oh, yes. I mean, as I say all the time, young and immature, if I looking back, if I pinpoint exactly why, it was just stupid. And looking back... Stupid meaning to, what? Like, stupid meaning what? It was young. I was young and immature. Give me a I reason. Just, did I you was, think you could do better? No. Did you, know you think what? you I didn't need him? Bit, no. I thought, I just thought that, okay, I can find somebody else later. And I, and I realized I wasn't... So you thought you could do better. Is. I'm 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 out here. I can okay. do better. Okay, see, and what I'm trying to show you, man, is if I met you or somebody like myself met you, they're gonna ask these questions, and you got no good answer. I was just young and dumb. Uh, I'm sorry, you were married to a man with three kids. Was he working? Yes, sir. Who put, was? Did you have to work? Uh, at that point, it was just not cost effective not to work with three. Oh Jesus H Christ! Did you have to work while you were married? I didn't have to. Okay. It wasn't easy. That... Ma'am, see, men are very direct communicators. That's why a lot of you think I'm rude. You have no history with working with men, so you think this is rude. I'm just trying to get information. You were married at 21, 22? I was, I was married at 27. At what age, 20, what age did you meet your, how, what age did you first get married? I, I got married at 27. You said you're 40. Yes, sir. You said you've been divorced for 12 years. Maybe the math isn't quite right, but I know I was married at 27. It's the math of your own freaking life, lady. I, okay, Mr. Samuels. Whatever. How long have you been how long have you been divorced? I got divorced in 2012. So it's eight years. Yes, sir. So I get to be mean because she doesn't know her stuff. These ma these things I matter. See. These things matter to me. So you got married to a man at age 20 what? 27. You got married at 27? Yes. All right, and you got divorced at what age? Like 30, 31. Not 31, so you're married four years. When you were married, did you have to work? I didn't work at that. Did you have to work when you were married? No. No. All three of your children were by your husband, yes or no? Yes, sir. So you were married to a man that you didn't have to work and you had all three of your kids and yet you thought you could divorce him and find better. Great. Before you met him at 27, between 18 and 27, what happened here? I was with him as my high school sweetheart. Is that a whoop? <laughs> So you were with a man that you've known and you've seen him grow from high school to 27. He married you, put you in a position that you did not have to work. You had three children, yet you decided to divorce him and go elsewhere. And then you want to talk about how you struggled to be something. See, that's where it all comes in place. Nobody's going to give you credit for struggling. You chose it. I agree. Like I said, I was young. And no, ma'am. And see, this is the part. And here's the here's the, here's why this is here's why this is relevant. Mm -hmm. I need a lot, ladies like yourself. Some of you don't deserve a second chance. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry to tell you this. That's why a lot of men think a lot of okay. A lot of men will hear that and say, "Wait a minute. You found a good man. He married you. He sat you down. You had three children, and you divorced him for no good reason." And you think you deserve to go back. No, no. Listen, I'm telling you how men are going to hear this. Or do you not want to hear it? I'm listening. This is how men are going to hear this. I married my high school sweetheart almost 10 years after college, after high school. I did not have to work. He took care of everything. All I had to do was be the wife and have babies. And he took care of it. But that still wasn't good enough. I divorced him. 
Then I had to go out and struggle on my own. Now I look back and say I was young and dumb. Most men are gonna say, you don't deserve a second chance. I'm not saying that, I'm just telling you that's what a lot of men are gonna hear. Because you had the best, you had more than 75% of black women can ever get, a husband. And you had a husband paying all the bills and you threw it all away. So most guys are gonna be like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna volunteer to, to, to deal with her. Because here's the here's the here's the rounding, let me round it all the way home. Because what's to say if I decide to deal with her and I'm with her for 10 years like a high school sweetheart, then all of a sudden when I need her to be around and I'm 40 and now I'm 60, is she gonna be around and she's gonna throw me away too. See, the way you guys handle me, what you do with men tells a lot your tells men a lot about what you're gonna be like with them. So I'm sorry, well, ma'am. With that being said. Go ahead. So let me say this. So I'm sorry, ma'am. No one's going to hear a sob story about being a single mother and hard times. Ain't no, nobody that's going to fall on deaf ears. You chose that. So go ahead. But with that being said, I, you were correct. I chose that. I said I was young and dumb. And then when this time you grow, you realize a lot of things. You know, at that time, I wanted to I wanted to know about the bills and all that. Now, after dealing with him, like, I want to know. Just Where's make sure they get paid. Where's your husband? Grow up. Where's your ex? And we we're, we're still very we we have a very good co parent relationship. We're still, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You still what? We're still very good friends. Talk to me every day. I miss you. Are you one of these women who divorce? No, are you one of these you one of these women that divorce your husband, and then you still stay involved with it? No, not like that. Let's not go there. We're, uh, we're you said well. you talk with him every day. I do. We have listen. That's bull crap. You oh man, this is why I'm trying to explain to you. You're not really cut out for any other man. When you divorce your husband, he should have shut the door on you. And your only interaction would have been specifically regarding the children. Who has primary custody? I do. So he has visitation. Yeah. Is he paying child support? Yes. Yeah. Then he should not be talking to you ever other than direct, yeah. listen, other than directly relating the children. Yet, yeah, you're still getting his non-sexual attention. He is still speaking to you as like he's in your, not in your house, but he's in your life. You're not cut out for another man. I I can't think of a, no other man should even want to talk. Why don't you just go, why don't you just apologize and go ask your husband to take you back? We are, we are discussing that. No, 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 why don't you Go apologize and ask your husband to take you back. I have done that. Listen to your show about the Eternal Seven, and and I will bottle of a glass and, and make Good. it. Well, then, but that wasn't. Yeah, your, but ma'am, that was not the question you asked. You asked about going on to another man. I can rewind the tape. That's what you called and asked. You didn't say I how did. can I make it better. To... Then I asked what should be my question because that's more. That's what I want. But that's not what you... F mm. I agree. I didn't ask that question properly. No, ma'am. You didn't ask the question properly. That ain't what you even asked. You asked about it. Mm. Agreed. Ladies, what I need you guys to understand is this is what men are dealing with. You hear about how bad black men are, how, how they ain't taking care of their kids, how they doing all this other stuff. Your husband was black, right? Yes, sir. So your high school sweetheart, did he cheat on you or anything? Or did you cheat on him? No. So how what age did you what age did you guys get together in high school? Uh senior year. So senior, senior year. Love, 18. So a man has been with you since you was 18 and you took him through all these changes. Mm -hmm. And he's still dealing with you. We still love each other. Oh, Jesus Christ, I am going to reach through this internet and pinch your ear. 
I said he's still dealing with you. Okay. Would he rightly he right? Okay, ma'am. If the world was right, what should he be? Should he still be talking to you? He doesn't have to. That's not what I asked you, ma'am. No, no, he should not be talking to me other than talking about the children. See the deception, women. Exactly. He shouldn't be talking to you. So this is what you don't hear. You don't hear that black men go through this level trying to be with a black woman, with their wives, with their kids. All you see is the bloody stats. You don't hear this shit that men go through. Well, sadly, I've heard this story so many times, I can predict it. That's why I knew what she was talking about when she first fucking called. Don't call me asking about getting with a man. You find a way to get on your goddamn knee pads and crawl back to your husband and act like you got some goddamn sense and you learned your lesson. You don't deserve another man. You don't deserve another bite at the apple and you're lucky you still got the one that's dealing with you. Well, thank you for that. Call me when you get your husband back. We'll see. I appreciate no, you. No, 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 no. Because there is no other man out here that you should be dealing with. Don't nobody else deserve this. Call me when you get your husband back because your children want that. And honestly, ma'am, it may sound a little bit harsh, but that's who you're really cut out for. Have you been... If you haven't been physically involved with another man, I know what y'all playing these games for, man. You wasted a lot of life and a lot of time and a lot of damn money. Come on, black women, I want to hear about it. These black men ain't taking care of their kids. They don't want to be married. They don't want to do this. They don't want to do that. Uh, yeah, right. 